Hello and welcome to Physics Problems One by One. So here is a problem. As always, read it, maybe once, maybe twice, and then pause the video and try to solve it yourself. Today problem we have two bodies. This is thrown with V0 on the angle alpha. And this is thrown with V0 under the same angle alpha but down. And this is somewhere here above the ground. And they want us to find the relative speed. So, it's basically, in the beginning we have to subtract two vectors. So, if you remember how we subtract two vectors, we can have that this speed, and then we have to take this speed with negative sign, reverse it, and then we have to put this here and put here, and we have this is a delta. This vector is a delta. It is a subscribe. Uh, we subscribe, and this would be delta v. So this would be v1. This would be v2 minus v2, and this would be delta v equal v1 minus v2, and those all would be vectors, right? But this is the very beginning. What will happen when the body will fly a little bit? Well, recall that this body is flying like this, and this is this parabola. And this body will be flying like that, and this is this parabola. And at certain point, this, this speed would be like a tangent to this trajectory. And at the, certain, the same point in time, this would be the speed of this. And we will have subtract those vectors. And what we will get? If you look with vectors good, you can do the same solution, the same result. But uh, it's easier to go with y and x. And along x we have uh, the first body, v1x this direction. It is the speed v0 cosine alpha and it doesn't change with time. And uh, the second body has uh, v0 v2 x has the same absolutely velocity. So those velocity are the same. And so we go along y and we have that at any point in time, v1, y equals. This is a movement against g. So it would be v0 sine alpha, initial speed, minus gt. And with the second body, it would be v2, y equals minus v0 sine alpha. And minus gt. Minus because it's going down, those both minuses against this direction. And so if we say that let's subtract v1x minus v2x, we subtract and we receive zero because those cosines go away. Um, of course, if we're looking along x axis, those two bodies, one above another, they're not moving. They, if we're sitting in one body and looking uh, on another body, it always would be above us or below us if we're sitting in the upper body. But that's because like, along this axis, they're moving with the same speed. And so one is certainly always above the body in this situation. That means that their speeds are the same and the V1 minus V2x is v relative x and we have v relative x x equals zero and if we subtract v1 y minus v2 y we will get those two would go away and this would be doubled because when we're subtracting we will have two two v zero sine alpha and that means v relative uh, y 
equals 2v0 sin alpha. So what we will have, we will have this, this relative speed has no component in this direction and has this double component in this direction. So this would be this vector. And this vector would be 2v0 sine alpha. And of course it makes perfect sense because both bodies are falling down with the same acceleration g. So the speed is decreasing the same way if we draw a line v and this would be time and the first one is starting with some speed and it's decreasing and the second one it's starting already with negative speed the same and it's decreasing with the same rate gt is the same so if we subtract those this distance which is relative speed delta v is would be always the same and it will be this plus this which is 2v0 sine alpha and that means that those bodies they are moving with relative speed like this and that means this body goes relative to this body up and the distance between them grows, grows, grows forever but it grows well until they touch the ground obviously this body will touch the ground first and then after a while this body will fall but the point is that the distance between them is growing because the relative speed in this direction, this body always have a higher speed up and this body has the higher speed down and we want to subtract one from another, this is gone and this is double. And uh, I hope you liked it, then like and there would be next problem pretty soon, so subscribe and bell and have a question, please put it in. Thank you.